Hi everyone, welcome to week five of your introduction to HIPAA course. Um, this week we do not have any new material to cover. However, you are going to be taking your midterm exam. Your midterm exam has a total of 62 questions on it. Each question is worth two and a half points and you'll have about four hours to complete that. What I would suggest that you make sure that you do is that you go back and you review chapter one in its entirety, um, including maybe even printing out or making notes on the slides for chapter one. Um, chapter two in its entirety, again, making sure that you um, print out and or make notes on the slides for chapter two and then the first half of chapter three. All of those things are fair game on this week's um, midterm exam. In addition, I would also highly encourage you to go back and look at your current grade. Look to see what you may or may not be missing. Keeping in mind that discussion posts um, that you may have missed unfortunately cannot be made up. However, you can turn in any missing assignments or any missing quizzes that you have since the beginning of the course. This is an excellent time for you to go back and get caught up on anything that you may have missed. Um, I want to encourage you to make the time to do that um, as you have plenty of time um, to do these things during this upcoming week. So uh, please um, take that time and use it wisely. Um, overall, everything that you will be um, seeing on the exam is something that has been covered already. Um, of course, in the first week of the introduction to HIPAA course, we looked at why. Why is there HIPAA? What was the reason for um, HIPAA being passed? And of course, some of those big reasons included um, the whole idea of, um, you know, combating the different types of fraud and abuse that were out there, making sure that the waste um, was, you know, was managed in some way, um, you know, improving access so that everyone could have different types of service and coverages, um, and also simplifying things. Um, you know, as we talked about in chapter three, we looked at things like coding, um, making sure that we code certain, uh, diagnoses and, and certain thing treatments the same way across the board so that we're all talking the same language so to speak so those were some of the big things when we talked about HIPAA and the one thing that most of us are probably the most familiar with is privacy so um, you know the first part um, of chapter two talked a lot about privacy what is considered private information, things that can't be shared. How can we share it? How should we share it? And is there, um, you know, what are the exceptions to those rules? Those types of things were also covered. So as you go through these past um, three chapters or two and a half chapters that we covered, um, please make sure anything that you missed on those assignments from the previous weeks, go back and review those. Look at the things I've attached so that you can see where you may have made those errors because you might see those again coming up on the the midterm exam. I also encourage you to go back and look at the tests that you've already taken. Again, see what you may have missed, see how you missed it, um, what the correct answer should have been, um, what you should have answered um, so that you can be prepared if you see that question again, which is, is highly likely that you'll see that question again on the midterm exam. So if you have any questions over any of these things as you're going through it, please make sure that you reach out to me. Again, use this time wisely over the next week to get caught up if you are have fallen behind. Um, and as always, reach out to me with any particular questions that you might have. And have a great week.